Hello everyone, this is Carla from Artwork 80. Welcome to my channel. How are you today? How's the holiday season treating you? I hope that wherever you are, this time of the year is giving you all of the blessings and all of the happiness and all of the peace that you deserve in your life. I know that most of us out there want to enjoy life at the fullest every single day of our lives, but there's certain moments in you know life that um, stress can kick in and for some people the holidays can be that. So whenever a little bit of stress and anxiety presents in your life, just remember to breathe in and think of all the wonderful things you have in your life. So with that in mind, let me know in the comments if you'd like for me to share with you some of the crackers and collections that I use to, you know, be aware of how I am, to know how's my physical health, to see how's my mental health, and, you know, um, overall how my life is doing. You know that in this channel, I share with you everything that I know about art and bullet journaling. And that includes the collections that I use to just not keep my productivity going on, but also my uh, well-being. So if you're liking my content, please remember to give me a thumbs up and share my content with your friends. Also, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell so that you know whenever I put a new video, which is mainly every week. I like sharing with you everything that I know and do regarding bullet journaling, all the trackers, all the collections that I use to keep productive, to keep creative, to keep also, you know, healthy. And I also like to share with you a little bit about art, the supplies that I use, what keeps me inspired, and I love doing unboxing videos for you as well. But I'd like to know what content it is that you really enjoy the most. So I always appreciate when you leave me a comment with your thoughts and opinions. I've been looking at so many beautiful um, videos in YouTube regarding the preparation of our bullet journals for 2022. For some people, I know that for me it is incredible that we reached this point that is 2022. So many things have happened in the last um, couple of years and I know that it has helped me understand and see things from a different perspective. There's so many things that I need to be thankful for. There's so many things that I need to be grateful for and I've been loving to be able to share this uh, journey uh, with you in this channel. So I really uh, appreciate your support and I just wanted you to know that having this um, way of communicating with you, it's, it's a blessing. So thank you so much. Uh, this year I reached um, a thousand subscribers that uh, for a lot of people is just um, you know a grain in the sand but for me it's huge and I am so very uh, grateful for those that have subscribed to my channel and I hope that more people like my content and join I guess the family and um, be here with me to um, talk about and enjoy um, art and bullet journaling you know that I have an entire playlist that's dedicated to, I guess, give you the tools to start working with the bullet journal method. It is also a great source of ideas for those people that have been practicing the method for a while and want to see what other things there are out there. I know that I love to see what other people do in their bullet journals and sometimes implement them into mine or I guess that sometimes what happens is that I look at them and say like, hey, I like that. What if I just make this change or that change and then I adapt it to my needs? Because at the end of the day, journaling is something very personal and we have to make our best to make it our own and that it's something that we enjoy. And if you want to share with the world, 
go and do it. And if you rather keep it private, again, it is something that we do for us. Now, when it comes to preparing my bullet journal for a new year, this has been in the making for a few months back. If you remember, in July during my birthday, I received this beautiful uh, handcraft personalized notebook that Suzelle, my friend from Letra Azul, made for me. So when I received that notebook, I knew not only that it was super special, and if you haven't seen that video, you have to check it out because I am just so in love with my bullet journal notebook because it was just um, a very special gift that was made exclusively and specially for me. And that, you know, has, I have no words to describe how special the notebook is for me. But when I received that notebook, I knew that it was going to be like my next notebook. And I thought that my new notebook will be used in the next year, which is 2020. But I ran out of pages in my bullet journal and I had to start using it before planned. I actually started using my bullet journal in the month of November and I have been enjoying it so very much. Uh, if you haven't seen the videos in which I planned uh, November and December, please feel free to check them out. I, I know I love them both, I cannot choose a favorite. And in a way, I was happy that I had this notebook ready so that when the opportunity came, I was all set and ready to go. But I had had my um, moments of like um, doubt, I guess, in which I thought to myself, shouldn't I be using a new notebook for a new year? And I think there's no right answer to that. Because uh, when it comes to notebooks, in my personal opinion, I don't like them to go to waste. So I always find new ways to use them, even if the original purpose for whatever reason is it's not there anymore let's say that you're in school and you have a notebook that you purchased for a specific subject and then the semester the year uh, the training the, the course ends and you're there with I don't know maybe less than half of the notebook um, empty and you'll find a way to use it right then that's how I think notebooks should be used I try to use them to their fullest and that means uh, every single page of them uh, should be used so having a notebook as beautiful as this one only used for a couple of months it's not enough for me but I also like and love the idea of starting a new notebook for a new year so I guess it's up to each of us to decide what's best for our situation. Uh, I'm only sharing this with you because, um, again, I've been preparing this notebook for a while and the opportunity just came uh, that my previous journal ended before the year ended and I just uh, started using it. But that doesn't mean that it was like super ready. Um, at least in my experience, um, I work throughout the, um, I guess, uh, permanent collections of my bullet journal during the year. It's not something that I do at the beginning and then it's all done, but it's more like something I prepare at the beginning of the year and then as the months and weeks and days go by, I keep enriching that initial plan in my bullet journal. So if you saw that video, you'll see that I started the preparation of that notebook for the new year quite some time ago. Not only did I make a pen test and a cover, which are the first layouts that I always do in a new notebook, but I also work on the future log. But today I'll share with you how I continue with that mission of, uh, I guess, setting my bullet journal for 2022 you'll see me working on some layouts that I consider very important in a new year. First off, we need to take a moment and say thank you for all those wonderful things that happened this year. That for me, it's super important to be uh, aware and be present in all those wonderful moments that we had of the year that's gone and also to make plans for what's coming next, which means having goals in mind that we want to achieve and thrive in. 
So I am very happy that you're here with me today to share this experience of preparing a notebook for a new year. And I also wanted to ask you if you're interested in me explaining to you a little bit more of the bullet journal method. And if you are, please don't forget to leave a comment. So let's go get our notebooks, start working on the new year, you know, and if you want to get something to drink, something to snack on, and I'll see you at the end of the video.
thank you so very much for staying till the end of the video. I hope that you had a lot of fun planning for a new year and I also hope to see you again really soon. The theme as you can see for the next year has everything to do with the cover of my beautiful notebook, a sort of Japanese uh, blue golden theme that I'm loving and I will continue in my permanent collections of the year and when the time comes and I need to migrate to a new notebook I'll make sure to continue this trend that I've established for day one of 2022 and I also wanted to say thank you to you for being part of this amazing 2021 thank you for the likes thank you for the shares and thank you for subscribing to my channel. I think we're all happy and ready to start a new year. So wherever you are, I wish you the best holiday season. Um, if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. Have a wonderful new year, 2022. Wow. And I'll be seeing you really soon in my next video. Keep creative. Keep safe and always, always be kind. Happy holidays! Please like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time!